It was a dark, cold night in the abandoned forest near Loche. But this wasn't a usual French night. This was a very, very, very dark night. Neeland was rambling in the woods. However, that was a rather difficult task. As he was walking, he realized he couldn't see anything. But then, suddenly, he tripped over and fell face down into the mud. He tripped over and fell face down into the mud. I'm saying he tripped over. Actually, is it necessary for me to trip over? I think it makes just my character look stupid. Yes, Neeland has to fall. That's in the script. Continue. Wait, okay, I, I can fall, but maybe not into the mud? The fall into the mud is essential. We are shooting a horror movie here. Yeah, but falling into the mud is not scary, it's just dumb. It is very scary. It is so dark and you just fell. You feel mud on your face and, and maybe it's not regular mud. Maybe it's a quicksand. Quicksand in this region? There is no quicksand around here. One can never know when the quicksand cloud comes and rains down. The hungry chunks of mud. Okay. Ah! Neeland tripped over and landed with his face in the mud. He got totally frightened it could be a quicksand. How silly. Everyone knows that quicksands sleep in the night. Despite or because of his last night's accident, Neeland slept like a log. When he woke up, it was already afternoon. Good morning. Hello, dear. Good morning, sleepyhead. You didn't wake up early, huh? Oh, what happened to your face? Well, uh, I need to tell you about last night. I was coming back during the night and the forest made the night even darker. So I didn't find the path to go to the tent. So I tried to, to pass through the, the bushes, the trees... The and road. Turi and Caesar were carefully listening to the terrifying story of last night. I fall over the woods into the mud and now I'm all muddy. In order to cheer up his lover, Caesar decided to offer him a piece of custard pie. However, unexpected terror happened. Wait! I don't think this is necessary. This part is essential. Let's not diverge from the script. I mean, not diverge, but modify it a bit. Paul has to scare Caesar by appearing from his back. Don't forget what movie we are shooting here. The whole point of a horror movie is to scare the protagonists. Yeah, but I mean... It's not necessary to smash this custard pie into my face. No, 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 no. The custard pie smashing part is essential. If you don't do it, uh, people might think you are just acting, that you got scared. You have to smash the pie into your face so they see the fear is real. Continue. Okay. However, unexpected terror happened. How pathetic. That's a penny! <laughs> this event sparked deadly hatred and desire for revenge in Anturi's heart. After the custard pie incident happened, Anturi couldn't stop thinking about the humiliation of her best friend. As she watched the fire dance into the night, the target of her revenge suddenly appeared. 
and Turi didn't want to wait anymore. She grabbed a piece of burning wood that and... That is not happening. What do you mean? I won't allow any diversion from the script. You and your fucking script. You're trying to humiliate us. You're not a fucking joke. It's over. It is my job to make sure the script is followed. Understand, if we don't follow the script, it can have fatal consequences. Oh, really? I'm sick of your excuses. We know who you are and what you practice. Paul, give me the fucking bill. You're going to pay for it. I don't know what you mean. Nazi deserves. Oh, he was a Nazi? What did you mean? You told me he was a Nazi. I never said that. Yesterday you told me he was a big Nazist. No, I said big narcissistic. He think only about himself and the script. Then why would we kill him? Uh, I thought this person wasn't the best. B but you say we should kill him too? Yes, because I heard he's Nazi. Oh, no, no. What if someone called the police? No one's going to call the police. But how can you trust them? Because we are witnesses, we are accomplices. No one's going to report themselves. No, I mean, I know that, but how can you trust them? Because we were following orders. I mean the script. <laughs> 